with Wesley and Will. Welcome to another episode of Other Side News. I'm Wesley. I'm Will. And we want to talk about wrestling again. Um, I, I'll never stop saying wrestling. We want to give you our, our, our opinions of the Royal Rumble, our predictions going into Elimination Chamber, looking ahead to Fastlane and to WrestleMania. Um, first, let's start with the Royal Rumble. Thank you, Roman, for ruining something else. Yeah, that's why we waited to put this video up, because basically everybody had already said the same shit that we felt as we were watching the Royal Rumble. The matches were great, I thought, going up to the R Rumble match itself. And then yeah, the Rumble card. matches are... I don't know what's actually happened to Royal Rumble matches, because I think that they're boring as fuck now. Because it seems like every person runs into the ring now, and they all get a moment to knock everybody down. Yeah, they and all then get, everybody they get rests spot. for a while. Yeah. And instead of it just, you know, it just there was there was a lot of fucking people just laying down, letting people have their 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 moment. Yeah, and, then, and it's been that trend for the last few years. I have noticed is that the guy comes in, he hits two or three moves. Maybe he does if he's you know if he's a bigger star, he gets to hit a signature or you know maybe even his finisher or something, and then. While he does that, everyone just kind of takes a nap. Yeah. Unless it's Goldberg, Lesnar, and The Undertaker in the ring, as we saw at this past, and everybody's just, their nervous systems shut down. Because I, I've never seen so many people just lay down yeah. for that long of a period of time. Well, I mean, obviously the person that was the most impressive in the Royal Rumble was... Oh, Braun Strowman. Right. Easily. Even though he got eliminated earlier than I thought he was, they definitely made him look like an he incredible... Looked, yeah, he looked like a monster. Frickin' monster. And I thought that was really cool. Um, other than that, and Brock, Brock did some work. The the last there was no in. surprises. There was no, all these no. rumors about surprises. You know who was going to be the surprise interest? Was Kurt Angle going to make his comeback? Were we going to get to see Samoa Joe? Well, I guess the ten no. guy was a surprise. I guess yeah, ten. Yeah, he came out at ten. Our you know, and I felt good because my guy. Stayed in there till the very end. I know, and so so did so, mine. Jericho was so close. So we, f I felt pretty good. I think our show was on point, on mark, you know. And I think Jericho would have won it, but I think Jericho is going to be exiting the WWE soon, and so they did not give him that title spot at WrestleMania, even though I think he deserved it. Yeah. But he wants to go tour with his band again, I'm sure. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Jericho can always go do other things and come back, and fans always accept him back. So, so the, the three big ones that were in the Rumble, we had Brock Lesnar. Well, Brock Lesnar came Undertaker. in and looked badass. Brock, yeah, that was a he good did some start. work. That was He's very good. Ass. Except I hate when they punk Rusev the way they do, but th that's neither here nor and there. That, no, that really bothered me because I thought I've always been a huge Rusev fan. Mm -hmm. I think he's got a lot of fucking talent. I love watching the shit he, you know, that powerhouse mm -hmm. kick ass in the ring. And he just seems to get fucking punked yeah, every, every, and it just seemed time. like there was no difference between him getting thrown around and the Miz. Yeah. It's like the old, old wrestling video games when Rey Mysterio can, you know, jackknife <laughs> the fucking big show. Yeah. And, you know, everybody Before else. Before they put weight just, detection yeah, in those things. It just felt really unbalanced. Like, he didn't matter. And I yeah. just thought it would have been really cool to give him a little moment yeah. with Brock Lesnar. So then we have, yeah, up. exactly. So we got Lesnar, who started out great. And then we got Goldberg hits the ring. And shockingly... Barry's, yeah. I Lesnar. mean, everybody knows. There's, you know, you guys yeah, all saw yeah. it. It's yeah. almost a it's month to old now. It takes him out again. And the only thing I liked about that was I like Lesnar's willingness throughout this rivalry with Goldberg to look weak. Because he looks super weak now compared to Goldberg. And I, I, I at least like what he is doing, that he's allowing himself to look that way. I mean, obviously knowing he'll conquer at WrestleMania and whatnot. But that's the only thing I like about it because I thought it was disappointing to see him get Eliminated that so you're quickly. saying Brock Lesnar's going to win at WrestleMania? A guarantee. Fucking T. He's going to bury Goldberg. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Okay, but, so, so but anyway, Goldberg, who did that, um, jackhammered poor Sami Zayn. Here, I, I know, but, here, but here's the other thing. Undertaker comes into the ring, and we get that brief moment with him and Goldberg, yeah. and then everybody comes in and interrupts it. Yeah, so it up. made, you know, it was really weird because it made me believe maybe mm -hmm. they are going to fake us out and maybe it is going to be Undertaker and Goldberg because they didn't let them have a lot of Yeah, no, you know, Goldberg reaction. grabs him by the throat, 
I mean, Undertaker grabs Goldberg by the throat, and then Goldberg delivers the worst fucking spear I have seen since David Arquette to The Undertaker. I yeah. mean, and Undertaker must have had a Bret Hart moment. He's like, this fucker hurt Bret. I'm not letting him. <laughs> I, there is so little contact made on that spear. But, um, and then Roman Reigns, obviously the biggest thing that pissed everybody off, comes yeah. out at number 30. When we all wanted Samoa Joe, I really wanted Samoa Joe. And what was very frustrating... He was on Raw the next night. Yeah. Is he throws out the fucking Undertaker... And supposedly they want so to do this, this is angle my with yard Roman now. Reigns and The Undertaker at WrestleMania. So that just fucking frustrated me because, again, I was always hot for this Undertaker-Goldberg feud that I want to see take place. But yeah. maybe that's a SummerSlam thing. Maybe Goldberg's going to stay around longer than I think for them maybe. to put him in this championship match. Anyways, Roman Reigns is a piece of shit. What bothered me was the fact that... I didn't understand why Samoa Joe wasn't number 30 if he was going to be at yeah, Monday Night Raw the, the fucking next night. next night. Exactly. And jump Seth well, Rollins, I just, who I don't yeah, care. And I, I'm hoping, I I wish your injury was longer because you're well, an asshole. Yeah, I just, I, I didn't like Roman at 30 because storyline-wise, booking-wise, it made no sense for his character. It's like, you know, because, yeah, this is just, it's a show. It's entertainment. I understand that, but it... Didn't make any damn sense that he has a title match earlier that mm -hmm. night and then comes out at number 30 in the Rumble. That's a heel move. Yeah. So the only thing I'm wondering is if you are if you want to do a Roman Reigns heel turn, go all the way with it because that's a Chris Jericho circa 2006 move to, you know, lose your title match and then I was in the Rumble anyway. It's like, so you knew you were going to lose? You didn't have right. much confidence in yourself. So just focusing on Roman Reigns so I can have our millions of fans understand what my problem is with Roman Reigns. I don't mind watching him wrestle. I think he's kind of boring personality person, but he's not horrific, all right? The problem I have now is he's thrown out The Undertaker. You look like you're going to do an angle. He's taking on Braun Strowman yeah. at Fast Fastlane. Lane. Braun Strowman is like this monster. Yeah. Samoa Joe just opened up a case of whoop ass on him. Exactly. Are you going to bury Braun Strowman at, at Fastlane? Or yeah. are you going to let well, Strowman keep why, doing what he's doing? Well, and that's what I was going to say is um, looking at going into WrestleMania, because in my mind, the only reason you would have Roman Reigns face The Undertaker at WrestleMania is that you are going to commit to a Roman heel turn. Right, because but, Roman but, beating wait, the Undertaker... Oh, let me finish real quick. Back up, though. I know, I'm going to back skipped. up, though. I'm going to back up. I just wanted to start at the end. I'm, I'm doing a Quentin Tarantino. I'm starting at the end and working at the beginning. It's because the only thing that accomplishes is making him a heel. You know, uh, Roman beating the Undertaker at WrestleMania does not get Roman Reigns over. You know, and, and Undertaker beating Roman right. just buries it's him. It's a passing So torch. going back, though, after seeing the match he had with Samoa Joe on Raw, you should almost do Roman and Samoa at... WrestleMania and have Samoa Joe interfere in Fast Lane. Braun Strowman gets the win. That way, Reigns looks strong, and you don't bury your right. monster. That's well because, but that the whole fucking thing is Roman Reigns and the Undertaker. That's well, whatever. That's what fucking Vince McMahon is fucking hot for right now. And I don't Everybody understand. Knows it. why. So it's like if he it does no favors. If he for loses Roman. to Braun Strowman, he's gotten beat by Samoa yeah. Joe. He gets beat by Braun Strowman. You're gonna go into WrestleMania and let him beat the Undertaker? Well, yeah, exactly. That's why he has to beat Strowman at Fast Lane if they're gonna do that. Which and then what was the point? Make Strowman the big. <laughs> uh, and that's why I'm saying you just need to abandon it because at this stage nobody. No wrestling fan wants to see the Undertaker lose again at WrestleMania. We didn't want him. To, we didn't want to see him lose the first time. And at this stage in his game, Undertaker doesn't really have anything to offer a younger star. You know, he doesn't really have that rub to give. I mean, of course he does because he's a huge star. But to me, it's like you treat the Undertaker like you treat The Rock or you treat Goldberg. You put him in that big match. You know, which is why I wanted to see him face Cena, but that's obviously not going to happen. Or Hell, Kurt Angle's going into the Hall of Fame this year. That means yeah. he's going to be around literally he still wants the to night going, of though. WrestleMania. I would just pit Angle, Undertaker, one last time. Put him in a match like that, because unless you want to make Roman your next big heel, which the WWE sorely needs... You know, they need more um, villains in there. It just seems, And that's the only thing him beating The Undertaker accomplishes. Doesn't it seem like they just paint themselves in these fucking corners? And then it's just like, okay, we wanted to get Gotta to this match. Yeah. But Because to me, the situation that you've done is Roman Reigns gets buried with, with Samoa Joe. It's almost like let Samoa Joe, like you said, interrupt... <clears throat> 
take out yeah. Roman Reigns, Braun Strowman wins, and Braun Strowman's like, you're not, he's been doing this, you're not giving me any competition. You're just, you know, you're yeah, just... Yeah, exactly. And you let him, which I said which he, months ago, which he you is. let Braun Strowman take on The Undertaker and yeah. wipe him off the face of the earth. Yeah, and then you've established your next monster. And it makes sense because he's looked strong coming all the way into it. And then and you give Roman and Samoa Joe two of your... Not young, because Samoa's been wrestling for a while, but two of your newer talents. Right. You give them a chance to shine at WrestleMania, because they had a good match on Raw, and that was a very abbreviated match compared to what you can do on a pay-per-view and whatnot. You know, and so I just think that'd be better. And it's the same thing with looking at Elimination Chamber coming up. Right. With your Chamber match. Which, shifting from Roman Reigns, we'll quit beating on him. We know there's lots of you that really love him. John Cena. Getting the title back in a great match. AJ Styles Wonderful kicked ass match. and John Cena happened to be in it. I'm yeah. sorry, he kicks some ass too. Yeah, it was a great match. They have they have good matches. I mean, going all the way back SummerSlam. And it was whatnot. great. They, that was the best match They worked together tonight. very well. But him winning the championship has me confused. Because, um, I one, I don't understand why he won it at the Rumble. <coughs> uh, because going into Elimination Chamber, you've got Randy Orton winning the Rumble. Now Cena's in the Elimination Chamber. I do not want to see Randy Orton, John Cena, number 9,000. Welcome to 2009. They faced each you other. You never said anything about Orton, by the way. How would you feel about him winning the Rumble? Um, I didn't give a shit. I, actually, no. And I honestly think that's why they put Roman in at number 30. Because when Roman came out at 30, I know everyone was thinking, are you fucking kidding me? Roman Reigns is going to win this again? And then when Randy Orton won, I think that's how they got, you know, the fans to accept Randy winning was, oh, thank God Roman didn't win. Mm -hmm. You know, thank I you, Orton. I felt the same way. You know, okay. that, anyway. so it, it didn't have much of an effect, but I also didn't care, um, just because Orton's great in the ring, boring on the microphone, and his stop-start career has just gotten frustrating. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to see Orton Cena one more time. I don't think many people do. Um, so, coming into Elimination Chamber, what are you going to do? You know, uh, is Cena going to drop the title? Now who else in the Elimination We've Chamber? We've got I'm John fuzzy. Cena, AJ Styles, Bray Wyatt, Dean Ambrose, The Miz, and Baron Corbin. So, it could be a very good match. You've got some very talented people um, And Baron in the Corbin ring. looked really good in the Royal Rumble, too. Yeah, he did. He's pretty impressive. Um, but, so, you got to, you know... Chance for a good match. I mean, hell, having AJ Styles in there, there should be some crazy shit going on. Bray Wyatt's very talented. A lot of people are predicting Bray Wyatt to win. The and I have no under idea why that, why people are hot for that. I don't get it. I don't. Oh, well, I mean, I'd be fine with it if he could go into WrestleMania and successfully defend his title. Right. But you that's have a not going to happen. My prediction is John Cena's go. He'll John Cena will drop it in the Elimination Chamber. I don't know who he'll drop it Your to. Prediction: John Cena, maybe Bray the Wyatt. Chamber. I actually, I will say he'll drop it to either Bray Wyatt or AJ Styles. Will walk out of the Elimination Chamber, even though it will no make AJ. no fucking sense for him to lose the title and win it back two few weeks later. You know, I guess welcome to WCW time. <laughs> but either way, so John will drop it. And then the match will be set, Randy Orton against either Bray Wyatt or AJ Styles, and then John Cena will invoke his rematch clause, turning the match into a triple threat, which John Cena has done before, a la Edge Big Show, when they were going to have a mm -hmm. match, and John Cena wormed his way into that one, yeah. just so John Cena can break the record and become the 17-time 17 17. world champion 17. on the biggest 17. stage. 17 times. And that'll make me throw up in my mouth. Big time. Um, because it'll feel forced. They could have had him win the 16th earlier in the year, and then it wouldn't feel, you know, it wouldn't be so bad him winning it. Or vice versa, I would like to see Cena. I, this is what I would like to see. I would like to see Cena win the Elimination Chamber and set up his match against Randy Orton. They've pulled shenanigans in the past. Shenanigans. With Randy Orton and Rey Mysterio. When Rey Mysterio won the Rumble, Randy Orton challenged him for his spot at WrestleMania. Orton mm -hmm. won that match, but mm -hmm. then Teddy Long felt bad, put Mysterio in it, turned to a triple threat. Right, right. Whole point is I would like to see AJ Styles enter WrestleMania. Yes. And I would like to see something that's never happened before. John Cena has never dropped the title at a WrestleMania. He's lost title matches, but he wasn't the champion. I would like to see Cena... Put a younger guy, not that much younger, because AJ's been wrestling for 18 years, but I would love to see AJ Styles go over at WrestleMania. 
I think yeah. to me that would, as a wrestling fan, that would be a bigger moment because you can always have John Cena break the record later. Mm -hmm. You know, in a more organic right. feel. But I think it's time for you to put your younger talent, your newer talent, over and those promos at WrestleMania. Those promos between John Cena and AJ Styles going up into the Royal Rumble were fucking awesome. They were! The way AJ Styles was just telling John Cena, dude, you're old school, you're so done. Yeah. You know, you suck. I and so it. it would be, yeah, it would be, it'd be perfect. I actually would have preferred, after seeing the match they had at the Royal Rumble, to have number 30 come out, and I don't care who it is, not Roman Reigns, someone else walking to the ring, to have AJ Styles run out hit that fucker with a flip kick, slide in the ring, and AJ Styles to win the Royal Rumble, setting up a rematch at WrestleMania with John Cena. Mm -hmm. I think you would have gotten more out of that storyline-wise and just have a one-on-one -on -one encounter. But I just, I, I don't think that's what they're going to do. I think Cena's going to drop at Elimination Chamber, go into WrestleMania, and win it. I think that's where they'll go, and I just, I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. Well, I'm hoping AJ Styles wins the Elimination Chamber. And then from that to Samoa Joe is what are you going to do with him now? Well, everybody kept there. talking about Seth Rollins and Triple H were supposed to go at it. I really liked the little swerve that Triple H yeah, did. Yeah, I really, I I really enjoyed is, that. And I'm like, God, you're so fucking boring. All right, Triple H rules the world. He beats everyone. We fucking get it. And then Samoa Joe comes out and whoops Seth Rollins' yeah, ass. Yeah, that was a great swerve. Like, the, That's great. I'm going to take a step back out of the ring and, and I'm going to let that could be a good my hired match. gun take care of it. Which would be nice if that's the direction they go because if Seth Rollins is able to return, which right now the reports are that he will, he'll be there for WrestleMania, to me, it makes more sense for Seth Rollins to take on Samoa Joe at yeah. WrestleMania than Triple H. He legitimately hurts you. I think you can build a better storyline yeah. going into WrestleMania so with hope, that match. I hope that they go that fucking route. Because then, what, are you, what else are you going to do with Samoa Joe? You're going to debut him? He's going to kick ass. Well, He's been I mean, dominant since he The uh, match arrived. that I fucking wanted to see, it's Wrestle fucking Mania. I wanted to see... Goldberg, Undertaker. I wanted to see Samoa Joe, Brock Lesnar. Yeah, because that's someone you. That's can look what I at have fucking wanted to see. And say this guy can legitimately take Since on. Since Samoa Brock Joe got to the WWE, I wanted to see him take on Brock Lesnar. Yeah. So I just uh, hope they do something good with him. Instead, so either Seth Goldberg. Rollins or Roman Reigns would be good. Either you'd match either one of them with Samoa Joe. I thought that I think that would be fine. So we've, and speaking of Goldberg, we saved this one for last. Speaking of Goldberg, yes. Because I want to bury this for motherfucker. Phoning it in at the Royal Rumble. Thank you very much. Now he's in a Universal Title match against Kevin Owens. And it's sad that we got to wait all the way to Fastlane. I wish that this. I wish this could have been. Just get it over with. Yes, tomorrow. <laughs> because my thing is wanting to see him actually wrestle a match. Yeah. Because I'm kind of predicting that he's gonna go in there, and Jericho is gonna fuck something up, and tell us if we're obviously he'll tell us if it's wrong. But Jericho. Oh, Jericho's definitely costing Owens the match to that set up Owens, their exactly. match. Exactly, and it's another squash under three minute match. Probably, which is going to suck. Goldberg hasn't done shit since he's been back. No. No. Spear, spear. His interview was hammer. better last the, the last week. Well, because he didn't give himself a fucking concussion before he went out <laughs> to the ring. But, yeah, I, 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 I predict the two. He's going to win it. And which just makes me feel sad for Kevin Owens. Just like I felt bad for AJ Styles. I'm like, you guys are good champions, great wrestlers. You know, and you just getting shoved down the card for these older guys. And it just made me feel sad for the, the Lesnar-Goldberg storyline. It's like, obviously, the WWE doesn't think this storyline is that hot. Or they well, just want to justify making it the main event right, by putting yeah, a title in yeah. the mix. When it's just like, I don't give a shit. I just don't understand why the fuck Goldberg was worthy of getting a main event and not fucking Sting. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't fucking yeah. understand that. Goldberg has never been that fucking entertaining. Anyways, obviously he is. He's selling fucking tickets or whatever. So, with what happened in the Raw Rumble, I was kind of gave up my dream on Goldberg taking on The Undertaker because to me it just seemed like whatever they would do, it was going to suck because I've yet to see Goldberg have a fucking match that's gone more than fucking 10 minutes. No. He's been yeah. burying everybody he gets in the ring with. The only other thing that I can think of that would help Owens out is if Brock Lesnar... Is the one yeah, that if fucks him a, up exactly, because he wants to get the belt. Yeah, and if there's a disqualification type thing, then you can still give Goldberg the win 
and, you know, Owens could stay champion, and yeah, that he would want the belt, and then maybe turn it into a triple threat main event, Owens, Lesnar, and Goldberg, because yeah. then those two can carry Goldberg yeah. to a good match. You know, and that's why I didn't or like... Or even make it a fatal four-way and, and put Jericho back in there because we know Jericho and Goldberg... Yeah, Jericho Goldberg can have a good had, match with anybody. Goldberg, you know, they had heat before. But that's what Goldberg needs at this point. And Brock Lesnar, who is much better now than he was back at WrestleMania 20... Oh, hell but yeah. But still, Lesnar's not going to carry a guy to a match. You know, which is why I don't like Undertaker Roman Reigns. Because I don't think Roman Reigns is that great by himself. If you put him in there with Jericho or Samoa Joe, he can deliver a really good match working off these guys. But I don't think he's going to work off The Undertaker all that well. And The Undertaker's at the stage where he needs someone who's going to help him to a good match. It's been that way ever since he took on CM Punk. You know, he needs just a little bit of help yeah. to get there. And I don't think you're going to get that. And yeah, putting... Another element, but they're not going to do that. It'll be Goldberg, Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar will finally get his win, which will somehow erase the fact that he's down, if you count the Royal Rumble, Punk three out. to nothing yeah. now. So I guess being down three to one what says, he... I win. It, unless he cuts Goldberg's head off and puts it on a fucking trident in the middle of the ring. <laughs> I mean, you're still down three to one. <laughs> what did you think of Paul Heyman trying to hype that match? It just seemed so <sighs> awkward. And Brock Lesnar, honestly... Standing in the ring just seemed like he just didn't give a fuck. Well, I, that's what I was saying. I give he him credit so... in this angle is because, you know, if you even if you look at his facial expressions in the Royal Rumble, when Goldberg comes out, he's pacing, looking like I'm ready. But if you look at his face, I thought he did a very good job looking nervous, unsure. You know, I think he is selling without saying that mm -hmm. he's intimidated. I think he is selling the fact that he's intimidated by Goldberg very well. You I think he's doing a good job looking weak. Do you know what I'm predicting? He's going to fucking squash Lesnar again. That's a bold prediction. He is going to fucking squash him again because everybody's thinking, this is what Brock Lesnar, this, this is his time, he's going to beat him. Why? If, if, if Goldberg can't take him out in the beginning of the match, it is going. I predict it will be worse than WrestleMania 20. Because Goldberg hasn't... Again, I'll shut the fuck yeah, up no, after I watch the match with Kevin Owens. If it's a real yeah. match... I'm wrong, I'll shut the fuck up. But you cannot tell me you're going to put those two guys... Brock Lesnar is going to make him look like shit against... Worse than Randy Orton. Yeah. You know, and he can't bust... You know, well, maybe Goldberg wouldn't have a problem with busting him. He I just does it to that, himself, so I right. think he'll be fine with it. I just... I'm thinking the only thing that would shock everybody again is if he buries him again. Yeah. Well, and that's why I just don't get why they felt this it, needed to be the main event. Exactly. Why they needed to put a title in the match. Because how I would have booked this match is I'd have said, okay, you know, um, we know Goldberg's done some MMA since he, I mean, not competed, you know, but he's, uh, you know, that's what he's yeah. been doing in his mm -hmm. off time. That's what Lesnar does. I would have put them in the middle of the card. It's a, you know, yes. we're not having a match. Yes. It's a fucking fight. It's a street fight. Street fight. You know, it's just a fight. And then just let them do a shoot work. You know, where you can have a lot of ground stuff, a lot of ground and pound, you know, some wrestling like that. You're not needing a the, the traditional WWE-style match. And you just let them beat the shit out of each other because then you could have it be a three-minute match right. like the UFC sells right, or, you know, right. get like, or like a boxing match with a big heavyweight that just, uh, Mike Tyson just knocks the motherfucker out. You can have a three-minute fight and it'll look legit and it'll look fine and however, but... Now you're throwing a title in here. You're going to make it your main event. Yep. How the fuck are you going to make this satisfying? You turn it into a triple threat or a four-way. Yeah, you have to throw someone else in the mix, but that's not what so, they're going to do. If if it goes if it goes one-on-one, -on -one, I'm predicting Goldberg squashes him. And then if it's God, a fatal four-way, then that's going to be a real match. It does Because everybody's predicting Brock Lesnar. No, 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 I out. agree. And that would be just... Because if wow. the only way, Brock Lesnar's got to get out of the way of the damn spear, and then we're going to have this match. And you're going to have this match where Goldberg covers his fucking face up the entire time while Brock Lesnar hammers on him and slams him around and, and nothing... You know what I would actually love Goldberg to see? Goldberg has nothing. You know what I'd actually love to see? Jack Reminds Hammer me. and a spear. And yeah, a clothesline. But what I'd like to see is it reminds me of the year that Chris Jericho took on Edge at WrestleMania. And Edge speared Jericho over and over and over again in the build-up to WrestleMania. And then when Edge went for the spear at WrestleMania, Jericho hit him with the code breaker. I would love to see Goldberg go for that spear at the beginning of the match. This is how you can work it, guys, by the way. Pay attention. You have Goldberg go for the spear at the beginning of the match. You have Lesnar jump backwards so he catches Goldberg on top of him. Put him in a Kimura lock. 
fuck that arm up. Now you can have Goldberg sell the hurt arm the entire match. He doesn't have to do too much work. You can have Lesnar work the arm. And then Goldberg can do his brief moments of power because he is good at that. Mm -hmm. Have him pick up Lesnar for that big hip toss. Right. Have him hit him with a couple shoulder tackles. Right. But he'll have, a, he'll have an injury, so you'll have an excuse for it to be a slower worked match. And you have Lesnar, you can have Michael Cole, he'd have to work his ass off, talk about how hurt, because he did a good job. Michael Cole did a great job at Survivor Series with the Lesnar is hurt. Right. You know, he, he really sold yeah, that yeah. well. So he could do the same thing for Goldberg. Goldberg's hurt and Lesnar, he doesn't want to beat Goldberg. He wants to destroy Goldberg. So he keeps working that arm and you can get something of a match out of it. Yeah. That's how I would book this match. Again, Kevin Owens will say after and we'll, we'll talk again, obviously. Right Which will be sad, but, but at least we'll get Kevin Owens and Jericho delivering one of the best matches on the card. Well, and then hopefully AJ Styles, and because I'm wondering Because yeah, what are you going to do Orton, with AJ? If Bray Wyatt does win the championship and you know what would be kind of fun is if they let them have that, they, you know, we're still this family, and Randy Orton's like, well, I'm not going to fight you. I want to fight the other champion. And that would throw a yes. whole it, different well, yeah, It would be, and that would be there. great. Because now you got Randy Orton jumping into the Brock Lesnar beat my ass. I yeah, take he on just Goldberg. seemed to not <laughs> give a shit after that happened. You like how I brought that all the way yeah, back around? Yeah, he seemed to not care after that And then that it's happened. mostly Randy Orton and Brock Lesnar doing all the work and Goldberg can just sit in the corner and wait to spear somebody <laughs> and win. Because I just failed to believe that Goldberg signed this big fucking contract, buries Brock Lesnar, goes all the way into WrestleMania and is going to get beat at WrestleMania. Well, Sting did it. He didn't get to do anything. That's because That's Sting just thing. didn't give a shit. Sting's a nice guy. Sting doesn't He's a isn't nice an egomaniac. <laughs> it's like, I already got my legacy. Whatever, Triple H. Vince, you guys can beat me and, you know, then go in the back and jerk off or whatever the fuck you need yeah. to do. <laughs> so, that's us kicking around some wrestling. We're, ro we're running into Elimination Chamber and yep. we'll talk a little bit about Elimination Chamber after that. See if we were right. And again, Goldberg's got to prove something to me to make this. Because right now, WrestleMania just seems like a fucking mess. Yep. All right, I'm Will. I'm Wesley. I'll see you next time. Halloween night, a bunch of clowns running around trying to scare little kids. If the rock catches you, he's gonna snatch your little goofy ass mask and shove it straight up your candy ass in front of the millions and whoa, millions. Whoa. What are you doing here anyways? Where's the other guy? The smart one. It doesn't matter what you're doing here. If oh, whoa. This ain't sing along with the rock. Thank you.